A non-fungible token is a blockchain-based digital asset that can be verified. Artwork, music, and in-game assets like distinct avatars are examples of assets. NFTs are becoming collectibles due to their one-of-a-kind nature. The acronym NFT stands for non-fungible token. A fungible item, such as a dollar bill, is equivalent to and can be exchanged for any other dollar note. A non-fungible token, on the other hand, is a one-of-a-kind digital asset that cannot be exchanged for another NFT. As a result, each NFT is a one-of-a-kind piece. NFTs are transferred from one owner to the next via blockchain technology, which generates a digital trail that confirms the transaction from seller to buyer. This specifies the buyer's one-of-a-kind ownership rights. A unique collectible object, such as a work of art, would be the physical world counterpart with a certificate of ownership attesting to its authenticity. The NFT's blockchain technology eliminates the requirement for ownership certificates. Some NFTs even use blockchain technology to establish a digital ownership certificate for a unique physical asset. However, this is not popular at the moment. Despite the fact that NFTs have been around since 2014, they became a popular investment in 2021. As the popularity of cryptocurrencies grew, so did the concept of offering particular digital assets to investors for online purchase. What are NFTs and how do they work? Rarity, Tools and NFT Catcher .io are two online markets where NFTs are sold and distributed. Investors can browse an inventory of assets before deciding which one to purchase. 2. Purchase the digital asset. One needs have cryptocurrency and set up an account on the marketplace that is linked to the cryptocurrency wallet containing the coins. Fungible tokens include Bitcoin and Ethereum-based ERC-20 tokens. ERC-721 is Ethereum's non-fungible token standard, which is used by platforms like CryptoKitties and Decentraland. Because NFTs are one of a kind, they can be used to value and authenticate the ownership of digital assets, including virtual land parcels, artwork, etc. One of the biggest markets for NFTs is the entertainment industry. Asterisk art, there are two types of crypto art. The term mainly refers to crypto-themed pieces that tie blockchain into their cultural, political, economic, or philosophical subjects. However, crypto art can also be understood to mean digital artworks that are published directly to the blockchain as NFTs. Two of the most popular crypto artists right now are Beeple and F-E-W-O-C-I-O-U-S. Asterisk Gaming. Video game companies are using NFTs to allow players to create and own unique game skins. In some games such as Alien Worlds, Myst, and Minecraft, players can earn NFTs which can then be traded in. For cryptocurrency, asterisk collectibles, Pokemon, Magic, The Gathering, and Marvel are just some of the franchises that are offering fans NFT collectibles with non-fungible token tools and support. Non-fungible tokens can also be developed on other smart contract-enabled blockchains. Though Ethereum was the first blockchain to enable NFTs, the ecosystem is growing, with blockchains such as Solana, Neo, Tezos, Yoz, Flow, Secret, Network, and Tron now supporting them. Ethereum ERC-20 tokens are the most widely used blockchain NFTs. The blockchain uses the ERC-20 token to create a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. NFTs can also be acquired with the cryptocurrency Polygon, Solana, and Polkadot. NFTs have provided a new avenue for artists, businesses, and celebrities to profit from their assets. Artists may now build a digital asset portfolio to sell to a new generation of investors. Collectors, celebrities are utilizing their celebrity brand persona to create assets. Thousands, if not millions, of dollars are being paid for some NFTs. Non-fungible tokens and accompanying smart contracts enable for the addition of detailed properties such as the owner's identity, rich metadata, and secure file links. The use of non-fungible tokens to verify digital ownership in an increasingly digital environment is a significant step forward. They could imagine blockchain's promise of trustless security being applied to nearly any asset's ownership or trade. Non-fungible coins, their protocols, and smart contract technologies are still being developed, as is the case with blockchain to date. Developing decentralized applications and platforms for non-fungible token administration and creation is still a challenge. There is also the issue of establishing a standard. Many developers are working on their own blockchain projects, which makes blockchain development fragmented. Unified standards and interoperability may be required for success. The value of NFTs In 2021, 
The volume of NFTs being traded in Q3 went up by 38,000% compared to the same period last year. According to DAP Radar, the monetary value of these tokens exceeded $10.6 billion in August alone. OpenSea, one of the biggest NFT marketplaces, reported a trading volume of more than $75 M in a single day. This is more than its trading volume for the whole of 2020. The top three highest grossing NFTs to date are works of crypto art created by Beeple. His piece every day is the first 5,000 days sold at auction for over $69 M, making him the third most expensive living artist behind David Hockney and Jeff Koons. What is the difference between NFTs and cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency and NFTs are not the same thing. The transaction is carried out using cryptocurrency by an NFT. Although it employs the same blockchain technology as cryptocurrencies, the asset is structured differently. The NFT, unlike a cryptocurrency coin, cannot be bought or swapped at face value because each cryptographic asset is assigned a unique identification code and metadata that identifies one NFT from another. This is the case. To put it another way, you may swap one Bitcoin for another, they are equal. But NFTs are not. What is it about NFTs that makes them so unique? Non-fungible tokens have distinct characteristics and are usually associated with a certain item. They can be used to establish ownership of digital assets such as gaming skins all the way up to tangible goods. Other tokens, like coins and bandnotes, can be redeemed for cash. Fungible tokens are interchangeable and have the same properties and value. Non-fungible tokens can be used to represent digital collectibles such as crypto kitties, NBA top, shot, and sore air, as well as digital assets that need to be distinguished from one another in order to show their value or scarcity. Everything from virtual land parcels to artworks to ownership licenses can be represented using them. NFT marketplaces are where they're bought and sold, while dedicated marketplaces like OpenSea and Rarible have long dominated the field. Some of the most well-known Bitcoin exchanges have recently entered the fray. Binance established its own NFT marketplace in June 2021, while Coinbase revealed its own NFT marketplace ambitions in October 2021, with over 1.4 million people joining up for the waitlist in the first 48 hours. What is the best way to invest in NFTs? Purchasing NFTs necessitates the investor's or collector's due diligence. You must first locate NFTs that you believe will appreciate in value and that you are interested in collecting. You may learn more about NFTs by looking through the many markets where they hold sales and auctions. You can also participate in NFT Discord and Telegram chats to hear what others have to say about existing NFTs and forthcoming releases. A cryptocurrency account is required to purchase an NFT. This means you must first buy the cryptocurrency required for the transaction from a brokerage firm like Coinbase Nasdaq, Coin or Robinhood, and then link the cryptocurrency wallet that houses your cryptocurrency to the marketplace where you want to buy NFT. Examples of NFT the price of NFTs varies from one manufacturer to the next. In certain circumstances, collectors are willing to spend millions of dollars for the digital asset. Take a peek at some of the NFTs that have recently sold on the market. 1. Everydays. The first 5,000 days is a book about the first 5,000 days of a person's life. Mike Beeple Winklemann created this NFT collage. It uses images from the year 2007. On March 11, 2021. This image was auctioned at Christie's Auction House, and it is credited with igniting the NFT frenzy. The sale price was $63.9 million, which was the highest ever reported. 2. Human 1 Like Beeple Winklemann has created yet another art asset, Human 1. It's a cross between a tangible item and a digital token. He calls it a kinetic video sculpture, with four displays, mounted on polished aluminum metal and framed in mahogany wood. In November 2021, this NFT was sold for $28.9 million. 3. Lindsay Lohan's Fursona is number 3. A Lindsay Lohan NFT sold for $4,408 at auction in October 2021. This NFT is part of the canine cartel's friends of the cartel range of NFTs. The NFT was a computerized mock-up of a mutt like Lindsay Lohan. 4. Da Dog Gone Jim by Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg teamed up with the Harlem Globetrotters to produce an NFC sitcom in which he co-starred with the squad. In October, the NFT was released. It was only one of many NFTs in 
which Snoop Dogg was involved. Since March of 2021, he's been an active collector and creator, amassing more than $19 million in assets. 5. Applebee's Metaverse Mondays In December 2021, Applebee's began a new promotional strategy. Tokens representing the restaurant's hamburger, boneless wings, and bourbon street steak were created in collaboration with artists. Those that bought the NFT received not just the digital artwork, but also a year's worth of the menu item. $1,337 was paid for the Bourbon Street Steak NFT. 6. Under Armour Stephen Curry Sneaker Under Armour developed a digital recreation of Stephen Curry's record-breaking three-point shot to commemorate his achievement. Buyers can use this digital asset to dress their avatars on a variety of digital platforms, including Gala Games and The Sandbox. The NFT, which cost $333 each, sold out in 30 minutes. 7. CryptoPunks CryptoPunks, a profile photo series that began in 2017, is one of the earliest NFT projects. CryptoPunks is a collection of 10,024 by 24 pixel art images showing punks with randomized qualities such as gender, headgear, and eyewear created by development studio Larva Labs. CryptoPunks were originally distributed for free, but now sell for millions of dollars. At the time of writing, the cheapest punks are available for six figures, while the rarest punks such as aliens, apes, and zombies, sell for millions of dollars. Visa, the world's largest payments company, has added CryptoPunk number 7610 to its collection of historic commerce artifacts, DEFI and NFTs. Non-fungible tokens are also making waves in the decentralized finance sphere, which is one of cryptocurrency's most exciting and innovative areas. Avagachi, an experimental startup backed by DEFI Money Market of is one example of how NFTs are being used in DEFI. Avagachas are NFT crypto collectibles utilized in a game universe. Each Avagachi also includes all of the tokens put inside it as collateral, generating yield on off. The Avagachi vanishes if the owner liquidates their interest. Rarible, a decentralized program that allows users to sell digital artwork in the Rarible market, is another application that aims to unify the DEFI and NFT communities. Rarible debuted RARI, a governance token that rewards creators and collectors. In July 2020, RARI can only be gained through active involvement on the network, which Rarible refers to as marketplace liquidity mining. Recent occurrences, according to DAP Radar, the NFT space exploded in 2021 with trading volumes reaching $10.67 billion in Q3 and rise of over 38,000% year-over-year. OpenSea, the leading NFT platform, had a single-day trading volume of nearly $75 million in August, which was more than its whole trading volume in 2020. In the meantime, NFTs began to change hands for exorbitant sums. People, a digital artist, sold a single NFT artwork for $69.3 million at auction in March 2021, catapulting him into the top-selling living artists list overnight. Millions of cash were exchanged between crypto punks, board apes, and art blocks. With the emergence of a new market in mind, venerable institutions such as Christie's and Sotheby's have embraced NFTs, organizing sales and in the case of the latter developing their own NFT platform. Art galleries grappled with the difficult task of displaying digital artwork. As musicians and celebrities rode the wave of enthusiasm for NFTs, large money was accompanied by even bigger names. NFT tickets for a party were published by rapper Snoop Dogg in the crypto game The Sandbox. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Cooney's Stoner Cats cartoon was launched as an NFT. An NFL star Tom Brady developed his own NFT platform. Autograph. Conclusion. In digital trading and art collecting, NFTs are becoming increasingly popular. Make sure you have the correct coin in order to purchase the NFT you desire. Once you have the NFT, you can save it and use it in digital formats, or you can sell it to another trader who is looking for a one-of-a-kind asset. You should examine the NFT's history and what the market has to say about its popularity and upside potential, just like you would with any other investment. Investing in NFTs carries a certain amount of risk. 